I'm Nicole Ellis, a reporter for The Washington Post and a native Houstonian. Got it done. Got it done. Good, good. Come on in. The devastation from Hurricane Harvey has been both heartbreaking and personal. Yeah, look at those. Look at that. That's a good three or four foot of water in their house. We joined David DeLeon, chief of the Harris County Command Reserve in the sheriff's office. He gave us a bird's eye view of his work life, rescuing others night and day. Right now there are 10,000 people at the George R. Brown Convention Center who are displaced from their homes. And it's, it's a very emotional situation. And uh, you know, our responsibility is to help people get out and make sure that no one, no one loses their life in this event. But we also saw his personal life and what it's like to evacuate and return home for the first time after Hurricane Harvey. Keep going, keep going, straight, straight, straight. We can pull up in the driveway, huh? Yep, pull up in the driveway, the next driveway. Sunday morning, Chief De Leon woke up to an impassable street and water inching towards his doorstep. Look in one of the cabinets to see if there's any gloves. We need to start taking all the trash out. The grandbaby's toys. He walked through waist-high flooding to find a boat and came back for his wife and son. All, everything below five foot is going to have to be removed. Everything is destroyed. Shortly after, he went to work to do the same for hundreds of others. Watch your step up the mirror. This is your, this is your room? This is my bedroom. What hurts me the most? All my high school yearbooks yeah. and my sheriff's department and yearbooks. That's what hurts the most. I heard, I heard you saying that yesterday about your yeah, that's old yearbook. All right, Chief, what year is that graduation? <laughs> Where'd you go to high school? Let me find one. <laughs> not to figure out a way to try to replace them, to fix them or buy, you know, buy a new set or something. I don't know how to replace them. How do you replace your memories? It's very good. Good memories, too. <laughs> so, all right. Chief De Leon is one of countless first responders who put the needs of others ahead of his own. And his job, both at work and at home, is just beginning. Life is going to give you challenges. We're just going to have to go back and fight those challenges.